You're good. So tell me, have have you ever had an altercation or a home invasion with a raccoon or hmm. possum before? No, but I um, have a friend. This is a true story. Who <laughs> dug a koi pond in his backyard and thought, hey, it'd be great. Nice architectural folly. Raccoons came down. Ate all his fish, sashimi, yum yum. He goes, oh, man, what am I gonna do? So he drained it, dug it deeper, thinking, I know the fish will go down deeper. <laughs> he goes away for a weekend. Raccoons came back, filled the pond up with stones to raise the water level. Ate all the fish again. He just gave up. What is it with those little critters? Do they have like little wily e. coyote blue diagrams, you know, and little hard hats with lamps? And they're smart little. Cr what? I, I don't get it. And, and in this picture. In, in Furry Vengeance, <laughs> they get the best of me for about 67 minutes, not to mention a jillion other wildlife denizens. They're Ooh, vicious, right? Fur did, you, did any of them try to, like, nip at you or anything? I'm going to let you in on a secret now. I didn't actually have to touch a real live raccoon or other creature in this entire picture. I worked with the stuffy and some paws on the end of a stick that beat me up at several points. The real animals were with another crew digitally, and then you composite the two together and get the eye lines right, blah, blah, blah. Same for thing for a movie making the last, you know, eight, 12 years, we've perfected it now. Anyway, boring. Here we are using this fun technology to create a comedy. Once you forget that that's there and just buy into the fact that you are being tormented in the worst way possible for, oh golly, the better half of 67 minutes, I promise you, a good times to be had by all. Look, they say it's a family picture. That's fine. I'm a dad. Okay, yeah. I got three kids. You, so you didn't have any any issue with the bear at all. You weren't in that porta potty. That didn't happen either. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I was I was there. Uh, yeah. Um, see, why should the stuntmen get all the fun? That's what I said. Um, <laughs> come on, kids love to see adults disgraced. And in this movie, I packed on like an extra. I don't know, 13, 15 pounds or something like that. I needed the padding. I was doing a lot of falling down. Leave me alone. So the adults are going to go, <laughs> like the kid on The Simpsons when they see the gut on me. I think it's gone mostly now, but woo! It had its, it had its, own, it had its own credit at the end, which reminds me, stick around for the credits. This is a picture that, for one, and I could say this, like I said, because I'm a dad, you will not be sitting through this movie going, I want to be anywhere else but here, maybe sliding down a razor blade. No, this is actually funny. You will have a good time. Don't run for the aisles, because there's a credit crawl with some pretty funny stuff in it that lampooned everything from the 80s forward, and that's all I'm telling you. you got to go see it. Okay, let me ask you this. Um, there is a message underneath this movie about sort of killing trees and, you know, clearing the land for, for development. So how do you, what's your take on that? Uh, well, you know, like it says, let's recycle, reuse, repair, be ecologically friendly. There is um, a slightly satirical take on that also, that mentality. We've got Ken Jeong in this film who uh, viewers and moviegoers will recall from... The Hangover, a different film altogether. He jumped out of the trunk with the crowbar. That guy, yeah, he's very, 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 very funny indeed. Um, he plays my big bad boss who uh, told me to raise the forest. And that's not exactly what I signed on for, but when the animals catch wind of this, oh boy, they make trouble for me. Do you, do you have any pets? Do I have pets? Uh, does that include the children? No. <laughs> um, there's a dog, a chihuahua, who has very short legs either that or its stomach keeps getting closer to the ground or a combination of the two i guess it's not fair to say that she's plump considering how much weight i packed on to play this role <laughs> <laughs> so you had to go on a diet together so to speak uh -huh. yeah, that's right i ate the chihuahua oh, God. <laughs> so what's your next project you know what speaking of eating i'm thinking about uh skirt steak barbecuing that's my next project for the summer. It's my second movie of the year. You know, it's like, eh, that's okay. I'm, I'm good. I don't need to see this dessert menu. Why are we talking about food so much? I must be coming up near lunchtime. There you go. Thanks for joining me, Brendan. Bye. Right, come see Furry Vengeance. You're going to have a good time, I promise. I'm not just supposed to say that. Check it out. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. It's gone!
That's a nice little song you're singing. Do you any more? I do what it would sound ah! like. With your beak wrapped in ah! duct tape. 